So what I'm thinking. We're leaving. We're leaving. How's it going, everybody? I'm Nikki Delventhal, and these are my dogs, Camper and Rodney Delventhal. For over three years, we lived in a Toyota Prius, but now we're in a 4x4 Sprinter. And we're here to take you along on the wild ride. So fasten up your seatbelts and let's have some fun. Don't forget, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends, and turn on notifications. We would be so thankful. <sighs> Okay, I'm awake. Good morning, handsome. Good morning, Lunar Crater. This place is fascinating. Though today is all about the ET highway, we'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, regrettably, this was not created by UFOs. It wasn't created by a meteor either. This baby is volcanic, getting its name because the crater is so similar to those you would see on the moon. Seriously, it's so authentic that astronauts trained here in the 1970s for actual lunar missions. So if you wanna go to the moon, Here's your chance. Here we go. We got a big day ahead. As you can see, we're still in the middle of nowhere, Nevada, and I am absolutely loving how wild and vast and quiet it is out here. Sometimes you won't see another person or car for days. It's places like these where you will find the crazy, weird, and sometimes unexplainable things. And today is gonna be just that. All alone in the barren desert along Nevada's Highway 375, which now has its name as the Extraterrestrial Highway. So the plan is to take it north to south and see what crazy things we encounter over the next two days covering 98 miles plus some of the off skirts. I'm so nervous, but this is gonna be a blast. We have officially made it to Rachel, Nevada. Uh, this is a place that is not only truly set in the middle of nowhere, but they have a population of only 48 according to the 2020 census. And this includes part-time residents. So you can imagine there's a lot less. We came to grab some food, but more on this place tomorrow. Darn you guys, we were a little late to the party and the kitchen closed 10 minutes ago. Uh, I also got some goodies I'll show you in a minute. But uh, what do you guys say we go hit up Area 51, get as close as we can because, you know, that's what you do out here. Actually, it's not really what you do because you can get in a lot of trouble and you get your car impounded and a whole list of things that could go wrong, but we're here. So we're gonna go check it out and hope for the best. Excuse me, sir. You gonna drive? <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, I forgot my keys again. Area 51 is all back in here, so we gotta take a dirt road probably about 15 miles in. So let's see where we can get. Okay, so I went like deep into the dark side of Reddit this week and I tried to find the coordinates to the different gates and I think I found one for the back gate here, but Google Maps doesn't want to take you on any roads. So uh, we're gonna try to figure this out together, but I'm pretty sure it's like 10 miles that away, down a dirt road. Now, if you don't already know, Area 51 is a highly classified United States Air Force installation in the middle of the barren desert that's become infamous for its intense secrecy surrounding it. The tales told of UFOs, government cover-up, and potential testings of alien technology. A few miles down a gnarly dirt road, it just turned into like perfectly smooth pavement. Does that mean we're on the 
on the right track because it still feels like we're in the middle of nowhere here. I don't see anything. I am so nervous approaching this right now. It is like so taboo. So I think this is the back gate. Why am I getting so close? I don't think I'm supposed to. Oh, there's some, there's a car coming towards this way. Oh God, okay. Alright, we are going to turn around here for an easy escape, <laughs> if we need to. Alright, let's check this out. Hang on, boys. Only one of us is getting arrested today. So this is Area 51. Uh, there are like barbed wire fences all the way over here. Looks top secret. Also, two trucks just showed up and they're watching us. <laughs> wow, this is crazy. Uh, I feel like we should hang out here, but maybe not so close to the gates. Um, so what I'm thinking, we're leaving, we're leaving, we're leaving. Okay, <laughs> did you hear that? They don't want us here. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna go a little further down the street. <laughs> that scared me. All right. Maybe a little pull off over here. Let's see. Oh, these people do not like us. But if we get up this road here, we'll probably get a better view of everything. Okay, I feel like this might be asking for trouble, but as you can see, Area 51 is right there. And I think you can camp right here. So I'm tempted to camp here tonight to kind of see what's going on. Uh, see if we can spot anything in the sky. So I actually just did some research and looked on my map and we are on the literal line of BLM land. So it is legal to camp here. <laughs> I guess this is where we're staying. Let's just make sure we have a view here, <laughs> just in case. Hello, sir. Thanks for having us. All right, boys, let's make it quick because they're freaking me out. And that is the literal line to government land. <laughs> Come on, load up. Come on, Rodney. <laughs> Are you faking it again? Look, now he's walking normally. So something I learned the other day when we were all hiking in the desert is Rodney is a drama king. So Camper had gotten a thorn in his palm and I went over and took it out of his paw. And Rodney realized if he limps, he'll get attention. So this happens every time we hike now, there's at least a 30 second segment where Rodney is limping. So I'll come over and see him and see if he's okay. <laughs> He's such a little fake for attention. There's nothing wrong with him. All right, you guys. Well, this is where we shall be posted up all night, watching this and the sky and seeing if we find anything. So for the next few hours, we're just gonna work a little bit and wait for the sun to set. I'm a little nervous about what we're gonna see. Whoa, you guys hear that? All right, we had our first bout of uh, flying objects, but this one was definitely a fighter jet. But what will the evening bring? <sighs> Let's wait for the sun to go down. This will be fun. While the sun was setting, we got ready for bed with a little washcloth shower, and it's time to eat and see what kind of stuff we see tonight. Go figure, we are making a salad for dinner. I just love easy, no fuss food. Just easy, just throw it all together, don't have to cook it. My salads truly are everything but the kitchen sink. Camper, what is it? It's 
turn the lights out so we can see outside because these lights are going to keep us from seeing. All right, let's see what he sees outside here. What do you see? <laughs> what is that? Honestly, you guys, this is scarier than the clown motel a few weeks ago. <laughs> Because Camper is barking at something. I don't know what it is. I don't see anything. It's just pitch black except for Area 51. But you can't see it in the cameras. But over here, there's like weird streaks of light that don't really make any sense. So it's kind of freaking me out a little bit. But I am trying to do a night lapse tonight. <laughs> so I do have to get out of the van at least once so we can see it. <laughs> I don't want to get out. I'm so scared. All right, go potty. I came up here to take my GoPro down, and it is so eerie and quiet. Oh, I don't like it. Let's go. Good. Now I can keep that shut. You guys know what I just realized? We're sitting here all freaked out like something's gonna happen to us. But if you think about it, we might be the safest we will ever be. We've got eyes on us all night. It's their job. They literally have to just watch this place. So if something was gonna happen, they'd see it. And they'd probably, well, hopefully, they would do something and help out. Or maybe they'll use us as alien research. <laughs> yeah, you never know. Mm. Speaking of alien research, I got this today. It is the drink of the aliens. <laughs> I had to get this alien tequila. I had to do it. I was like, there's no way. And in order to fully execute and be the master of the alien research, you must pour the perfect alien tequila drink. Honestly, I drink like twice a year, so why not do it at Area 51? Yeah, let's make a mixed drink. This is the only thing I have to mix stuff with, so we will do a little baby, little baby drink in spirits. All right. Cheers to not getting abducted, and if we do, to getting it on film and putting it out there for the world to see. <laughs> it's actually not that bad. Now, if they come and get us, we have to say, sorry, we can't leave for another hour. <sighs> I'm gonna join you boys in bed. Final check outside. No UFOs? Guess we'll see on the night laps. Good night, camper. I love you. Good night, Rodney. Love you. Are we still at Area 51? No, didn't get abducted by aliens. Is there anything better than two puppies loving on you in the morning? Nope. Coffee and alien hunting. Let's go! Whee! Good boys. You guys see this? Truly nothing. 360. Last night was freaky. All right, let's review the footage from last night. We got a night lapse going. It's area 51 gate. Stars moving. So far, I don't see anything in the air. Let's scrub through. All right, we've got the moon couple trucks here. Huh. No UFOs last night. 
better luck next time. What do you say we hit a few more noteworthy spots on the extraterrestrial highway, Nevada 375. Woo! Where do I put my coffee? It's full. Look what I remembered this time. Yeah, baby. Oh, but you gotta unlock the door first. Open the door. Close the door. Now the van thinks we're inside. Oh, side door's open. Jeez, there's always something. You wanna get that? Uh, no thanks, lady. Did we do it? We did it. All right, round two. So we hit the road, got back on the random paved road in the middle of the barren desert. Camper got all excited about the cattle that roam for hundreds of miles, and then made our way to our next stop. The black mailbox. Now there's a little backstory about this mailbox. UFO seekers would come along and they would see this mailbox and start stuffing it with mail for aliens. But what this actually is, is a road. It's called Mailbox Road. And right at the end there is a lonely ranch that backs up to Area 51. Now, I don't know about you, but if I was this guy, I'd be a little pissed off that my mailbox was constantly full with mail that wasn't mine. So over the years, this mailbox has actually had a lot of different versions. Um, but also it's a sad story because there was a lot of uh, vandalizing and stealing of his things, stuff like that. In history, there's either been no mailbox, a white mailbox, two different mailboxes, one for the aliens and one for him. Um, I'm actually surprised, so it seems like this is brand new. Long story short, don't vandalize. Respect your things, but also let's let this poor rancher get his mail, right? It's actually such a shame because this is still happening. There's garbage everywhere. It's kind of sad to see. I think we'll pick some of it up. It should not be this guy's responsibility for just irresponsible and arrogant tourists. Hang on camp, we're gonna pick up some trash. We'll be right back. If you wanna enjoy something, respect it. Don't trash it, treat it like your own home. And if you trash your own home, maybe don't go to other people's homes. All right, back on the road to the next destination. Before we continue down the extraterrestrial highway, let's go back to the tiny town of Rachel. So this town used to hold around 500 people till the mine that attracted the workers closed in 1988, where most of them left after that. Now this place is so cool because it is so small with only a couple shops. And with it being 27 miles away from the top secret Area 51 base, you guessed it, it's all alien themed. So here you have the bar and restaurant, Little Alien. Good boys. That was fun, huh? Your next attraction going south will be the Alien Research Center, a true tourist trap. They even have this sign from 2019 when there was a gathering to try to storm Area 51. This place is pretty wild, filled with lots of trinkets and weird alien information. And just a few hundred yards from there, we have alien jerky and a UFO crash site. Right on. Are aliens real? Is this one big conspiracy or tourist trap? I don't know, but all I can say is it was a ton of fun and one of a kind. I highly recommend 375 for your road trip. And on that note, we love you all. We'll see you next week on our next adventure. Come on, boys.